Exercise is actually really beneficial for our immune system, so it helps us to maintain it and keep it quite healthy. Um, but there's a fine line between um, a good amount of exercise or doing too much, and then we can actually see um, some detriments towards our immune system. The main things that influence us in terms of immune system while exercising are the intensity of the exercise, the duration of it and the frequency of it. Now obviously Mark has next to no time to recover. He is out on the bike for 16 hours a day, so his duration is massive. He has no rest days apart from days where he travels, so he has back-to-back -back days. So his duration, again, is really big. And although his intensity is relatively low, he still has to combat massive climbs. He still has to be able to get out of the saddle and put a bit of effort in. So on a day-to-day -day basis, his recovery is really low at the moment. So as Mark continues on this challenge, I mean, the longer he, he continues to go, the, the more essentially his immune system is compromised. He's really striving to, to do something that no one else has ever done before, and we really don't know where the limits for Mark are. So the team know that Mark's immune system will be compromised during this challenge, so they're putting in a lot of precautions on a day-to-day -day basis in order just to make sure that they can protect him as much as possible. So you'll notice if you're watching his daily videos that you'll see a lot of the guys are wearing gloves to make sure that they're not transferring anything to Mark. Um, who he deals with in the team is quite limited, so you know, really only if they need contact with him that they will have contact with them. And then certain things, so if we get someone who's ill, so we saw really early on, unfortunately Laura picked up a sickness bug and she actually was then taken out um, wasn't even in the RV with Mark and just you know put into isolation basically to try and really protect him and that's where the the team are working amazingly and I think Mark would absolutely agree with this that you know without them he would be really lost out there. The way that we're measuring Mark's immune system is through saliva and blood samples so when Mark was coming into the lab here we would take some blood samples. We're not taking any blood samples on the roads because we don't want to put his body through undue stress but Laura is actually collecting daily saliva samples so again it just allows us to monitor where he's currently at.